Do people in your life often call you needy? Do you feel an inexplicable fear when you're alone? Or when someone you love is leaving, even for a few hours? Separation anxiety is the extreme fear of being separated from loved ones or people who you perceive to be a source of safety and connection. When you hear the words separation anxiety, you may think of a child crying when their parents leave them on the first day of school, but adults can struggle with it too. According to the American Journal of Psychiatry, an estimated 43% of people who experience separation anxiety develop the condition after 18 years of age. But unfortunately, this disorder is often misunderstood and stigmatized, while sufferers are labeled as needy. Here are five signs you're not needy, but suffering from separation anxiety. Number one, fear of being alone. Do you keep imagining scenarios in your head where your partner breaks up with you or your friends stop hanging out with you? Is being alone your worst nightmare? People with separation anxiety fear being alone the most. They might be afraid of loneliness even if they have a big group of friends, a loving family, and a healthy relationship. Their loved ones might assure them they're never alone, but the fear of abandonment is often stronger. It's important to note that this fear is different from the usual loneliness that everyone feels sometimes. When this uneasiness feels out of control or causes a lot of distress, it's a sign that it requires attention. This could mean that because of the fear of loneliness, you're overwhelmed with anxiety or panic attacks, unable to sleep, or unable to concentrate or do your daily activities. Where does this fear come from? Let's find out. Number two, depressive symptoms. Are you unusually depressed when you're home alone or when someone close to you is going away for a few days? If your symptoms worsen when you're separated or away from some people, it could mean you're having trouble handling loneliness. According to a study, adults with separation anxiety were measured to show higher levels of depression, higher stress, higher neuroticism scores, and greater impairments in daily life. And of course, having depressive symptoms doesn't have to automatically mean you're suffering from separation anxiety. So you should think about when those symptoms appear. You can watch seven signs you're depressed and don't even know it to know more about signs of depression. Number three, worrying that a loved one will be hurt. Worrying about the ones you love is natural, but if you suffer from separation anxiety, this fear may constantly be in your head. No matter how much you want to stop the racing thoughts, you may worry that something terrible might happen to your loved ones. That's one of the reasons why you're so reluctant to leave their side. This fear, if left untreated, could damage your everyday functioning and quality of life overall. Number four, nightmares with themes of separation. Were you ever scared awake by a dream where you were lost and alone or your loved ones suddenly leaving or that your partner broke up with you? Battling separation anxiety can impact your sleep too. Sometimes those fears of rejection or abandonment can't leave your head, even for a little bit. So you might start having nightmares. This symptom can be difficult to handle, not only because it lowers your sleep quality, but it can also lead to insomnia. You might even refuse to fall asleep so you wouldn't have to have those dreams. Number five, physical symptoms. How do you feel physically when you need to be away from people you love? Do you feel physical pain like headaches or stomach aches? As a result of overwhelming stress, you may experience physical pain and even nausea and vomiting, dizziness and lightheadedness. These symptoms could occur as a result of separating from others, making it hard for you to function normally. But why does this even happen? Several risk factors can contribute to separation anxiety. Life stresses, no loss that resulted in separation, the illness, no death of a loved one, loss of a pet, divorce of parents, moving, changing schools, or going away to study can be included in the causes for separation anxiety to emerge. A temperament that is prone to anxiety disorders, as well as extreme fear of abandonment, even if it's irrational, could stem from an insecure attachment style. Separation anxiety could make it difficult to maintain healthy relationships and even set the stage for romantic separation anxiety. Visiting a mental health professional as soon as you notice signs is imperative. 
it can help you work towards independence from relying excessively on your loved ones for a sense of safety and learning to manage the stress of separation by identifying and processing the root of your fear. That way, you will be able to conquer it for good. The most important thing to remember is you don't have to go through this forever. Help is available and recovery is possible. As always, keep an eye on Sai for more psych to go content. And you can also check out 8 Signs of an Anxious Attachment Style. Thanks for watching!